going on. This is not negotiation. This is not us for negotiation. I've already told you that before. You need to give it up. No. Because I am trying to make you realize that you may think that YouTube really cares about you. But in fact, whoever wrote that letter does not even know who you are. It is not an award. It is a, a tool that they use to keep you wanting more and more and more. It's not to tell you, oh, how great you've done with your videos not to congratulate you on your videos. It is there. And the only reason is because you had enough validation of a following in order to have that. It's not there to congratulate you on your videos. It's there to congratulate you on how popular you are. Which should not be your top value being on YouTube and first of all you can't control their people so why give an award for other people giving you what you can't control that what you do so I'm trying to make you realize how pathetic it is no it is and I need you to realize that. That's why I'm doing this. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Okay, what you just gave me right there, I will not tolerate. I, I will not tolerate that. When people disrespect me like you just did, turning away, smiling, eyes closed, not genuine, to the side, shaking in disbelief. That is what I find really disrespectful. I find that very disrespectful. I find that very disrespectful. So, I need you to comply, and I need you to get... Stop arguing with me. It's going to make this process go a lot quicker and a lot smoother if you stop arguing and just let go of your attachment to this particular thing. As you so clearly state multiple times in your videos about letting go. Well, I'm sorry that I have to use this against you, but you must let this go. Why do I get the feeling like I'm your father and you're my son? Why do I get the feeling like I am more mature and older than you when in fact I'm not? I get that feeling a lot with people. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if I feel it, then, then, okay, I will assert myself and deal with what needs dealing with. So, no. No, you were given instructions and you were given an order. Multiple times. To give those things up. Stop arguing with me. 
stop fighting with me. I need you to stop fighting with me. You're comparing an apple to an orange. You're, you know, that's what you're doing. And when people do that, it, it annoys me. When people compare situations to something that's going on to something arbitrary, it really, it, it doesn't help the situation. It really doesn't. I'm sorry to say it, but I'm going to say it. Um, I'm going to have my way because I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be invasive. What I am trying to be is fair. And what I am trying to be is, you know, I, but, I mean, this is tough love. This is tough love. Okay, it's tough love because I care about you and every single person who is a member of the astrological and spiritual community at the event in secondary. I say secondary. You know why? Because you are your own person. I am not here to control the content that you create. I'm not here to tell you what kind of content you should create. I'm not here to tell you how often you should post videos. But I am here to, to have you be true on your word and not send mixed messages to your audience saying, well, I'm teaching you all this spiritual stuff, but then I'm this big time YouTuber for care, who cares about getting a following and I'm just going to rub it in my face how special I am and how great I am because I got this reward and now I'm just like every other successful YouTuber doesn't make any difference whether I'm a spiritual teacher or not. <laughs> Worked hard. Well, yeah, you did work hard. You did work hard. Yeah? Tell me, what did you work hard at? What did you work hard at? I'm starting to think that I am, am more evolved than you when it comes to my reasons for being on YouTube. I'm not obsessed like that. I'm not. Yeah, I want a bigger following. <laughs> I'll admit that. Why wouldn't I? I'm not going to shame the part of me that wants a bigger following. I put a lot into my videos. I want more people to see them. Now, I don't want to assume anything about you. But I just want to disclose that. I just want to say, though, first of all, I didn't really sleep over it. Second of all, you know, I have to tell you, a goal, a goal that you worked really hard at, you know what you're saying, that you worked really, really hard. Sounds like my past life experience. Sounds like you were me in a past life, if I even believe in past lives. In a past life, I might have been behind someone that was really powerful. I might have cared for them psychologically and emotionally while they provided for me on a material level. And I might have known the proper ways of getting into somebody's head and manipulating them for them to give me what I want. So, 
So you worked really hard at what you have done, or you worked really hard at getting people to follow you? Is that what it's all about? People following you, an audience, a following, attention. Is it all about validation? Yes, I believe that, and I come on my channel for the same reasons. However, if I was, if somebody came to me today and handed me a plaque, you know what I would do? And think whatever you want to. I'm going to be really honest with you. I would take it and I would throw it in that shed over there and I would find some way of using it. I just, I, I wouldn't hang it up. I wouldn't show it off. I wouldn't put it in the background for all of your followers to see when I was, when, for all of my followers, let's just say that I was you and I was putting up, putting it up in the background, which I would not do, because I would not want to make people feel bad about themselves. I wouldn't want to brag. I wouldn't want to rub it in people's faces that, oh, I'm so special. Oh, I'm big. And you're not. That's, that is what I have a huge problem with, is you teach about spirituality, and yet you make yourself bigger and better than everybody, put that superficial bell and whistle detail into some of your videos, if not all of them, and um, you send mixed messages. So, are you a spiritual teacher, um, or are you just somebody on the internet wanting to make a following? And only hearing about those um, elves. Exactly. You're both. You can't be both if... I mean, there's a difference between that and there's a difference between just putting it in the background. I don't care. It's in your video. It is in your videos. You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know. Guess what? You know how many videos that I've deleted? So many that I feel guilty. So many that I feel so regretful. I mean, I'm, I, I am sorry. I am sorry. But it was your decision to put that thing in the background. Because YouTube gets into your mind and your psychology and it just messes with your value system. Why not show it in my videos? It's a reward that I got. I might as well show it. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, that becomes nature. But it is, it, it, you know, it takes the awareness and the humility and just the swallowing, the enthusiasm, the pride, and that, why not show it? Well, why not show it? Well, there's an audience that may not have the things that I have, may not be able to empower themselves to get this thing. It's not something that you can buy. It's not something that you can work towards with your own money. It is something that is earned through other people and not your own efforts. And that's my point here. YouTube only gave this to you because it has some, it, it, it's 10% you or a little bit more than that, but let's be real here, it's mostly all the other people who, you know, who validated us. 